One of the biggest questions new players ask, what ship line should I play first? In World of Warship Legends, there are currently 10 factions or nations that you can play with around 200 free ships to choose from and counting. To help you decide which tech tree ship line to play first, we have categorized each ship by their power level, fun rating, and their learning curve to help you decide which line of ships you should play first. Data for the ships has been pulled from the community rating section of wowsbuilds.com, a website you should be sure to check out for ship builds, ratings, and general information on World of Warships. Be sure to make an account for free and join the community. A ship's power is considered how powerful it is compared to the opponents it faces at the same tier. So, what is the most powerful destroyer line in the game? According to the community ratings, the most powerful destroyer line is the American Gunboat Line. Ranging from the Clemson to the awesome firepower of the Fletcher, these destroyers are jack-of-all-trade boats with good concealment, mobility, and very powerful guns. The least powerful, as no surprise to most, was determined to be the Pan-European destroyers. While these ships are fast with reasonable guns and good AA, they lack smoke screens and their torpedoes deal very small amounts of damage when striking enemy ships. The most powerful cruiser line? Look no further than the mighty Kriegsmarine cruisers. Low tier cruisers here are characterized by their unparalleled ability to deal damage while the higher tiers are known for being tough as nails and great in a brawl. Powerful, short-range torpedoes mark the entire line, as does superb, high-explosive shell penetration, leading to less shattered shells. Alternatively, the least powerful ship line was voted to be the Tech Tree Italian Cruiser Line. These ships are characterized by good speed and concealment with exhaust smoke generators on board. However, they lack meaningful consumables such as sonar and radar. In addition, their guns reload slowly and their torpedoes are very slow when sailing in the water. Now onto the behemoths of the sea, the battleships. The Soviet battleship line was rated as being the most powerful by the community, with their ironclad survivability when properly angled and their great accuracy sub 11 kilometers. These battleships just barely edge out the American alternative line and the British battleship line on this power scale. The dunce of the group? That would be the Italian Tech Tree battleships. While these ships do have powerful, semi-armor piercing secondary batteries and exhaust smoke generators, they suffer from poor main battery accuracy and high velocity shells that often overpenetrate cruisers. Last but not least, the carriers. The Soviet carriers are considered by the community to be the most powerful. Their skip bombers are dangerous for destroyers and their ability to drop all of their munitions at once is quite strong. Alternatively, the least powerful was voted to be the British carriers. Next, we are going to see which tech tree ship line is considered to be the most fun. Fun rating is if the ship is rewarding to play or frustrating. The community has rated the most fun destroyer line as the original Soviet destroyers with their ultra high top speed and their super long range and hard hitting guns. While not very good with their torpedoes for most of the line, once you learn to master their guns, you won't need the torpedoes and they are great fun. The least fun? The alternative Japanese destroyer line. Minikaze and Hatsuharu were voted as some of the least fun destroyers to play in the game, and even the great gunboat, the Akazuki, could not rescue this line. The most fun cruisers to play? That was voted to be none other than the Royal Navy Light Cruisers. These ships are unique with their smoke screen generators, stealth capabilities, and short-fused armor-piercing shells. They are great at playing around objectives and killing destroyers, but beware, they do not have high explosive shells. The least fun cruisers were voted to be the British heavy cruiser line, with the Hawkins, Devonshire, Surrey, and Albemarle rounding out the group. This group of cruisers comes with large caliber, slow reloading guns, and no smoke screens. The most fun battleships to play, while well, that honor goes to the newest German battle cruiser line. These boats have the longest range secondary batteries in the game and at higher tiers come equipped with torpedoes and long range sonar. Beware though, they are not as tanky as the original German battleship line. The least fun to play, well that was voted to be the original American battleship line with New York, 
New Mexico, and Colorado's slow top speed, these ships are often found to be frustrating by players. They take considerable thought and proper map positioning to reduce frustration. And to no surprise, the most fun carrier line was voted to be the Soviets. But for variety's sake, let's go to second place. Here, the Germans were in a close second. In this carrier line, they have fast torpedoes, good for hunting destroyers, and armor-piercing bombs that can citadel enemy ships. And the last category would be the learning curve, and that is how difficult or easy it is to learn to play the ship line. The easiest destroyer line to get into in play was decided to be the original IJN torpedo boat line. These are some of the stealthiest destroyers in the game that come with long range and hard hitting torpedoes, making this group of boats very easy to pick up and learn to play. Alternatively, the most difficult destroyer line to learn was voted as the French destroyers. Like the pan-European destroyers, these ships do not have smoke screens and generally have shorter range torpedoes than their peers, leading players to have a hard time in learning their playstyle. The easiest cruiser line to pick up and play was also voted to be the British light cruisers for the reasons mentioned above. They have smoke screens and they will improve your ability to stay alive in the game longer, allowing you to be more influential a ship as the game goes on. The most difficult cruiser line to play was voted as the Italian ship lines, but for the sake of variety, the second most difficult line of cruisers to pick up and learn to play is the original American cruiser line. The poor survivability of the Omaha and the struggle most players have with the Pensacola were large contributing factors here as these lower tier ships tend to blow up a lot. The battleship line that was voted the easiest to learn to play was the alternative American battleship line. The Nevada and the Tennessee had reliable armor schemes and guns, and the North Carolina and Kansas are known for having some of the most dangerous salvos in the game. The most difficult battleships to pick up and learn to play properly falls to the German battlecruiser line. Their difficulty lies in their poor armor protection and a limited amount of damage party consumables, leaving a player with tough choices to make when repairing floods, fires, and or damage. The easiest carriers to learn to play goes to the Japanese CV line, while the hardest to learn to play goes back to the Soviet line, more than likely due to players having a hard time getting used to their skip bombs and slow aircraft speed. Now, while the community voted a certain way, I don't tend to agree on everything, so the following recommendations are my opinion for new players. My overall pick of a tech tree destroyer line for new players would be none other than the British destroyers. These boats have a good blend of utility, with torpedoes that can fire one at a time, great guns, plenty of short duration smoke screens, these will help you a lot as a buffer in protecting you from pesky aircraft, and finally they have sonar that will help keep you safe from torpedoes, and even help you hunt destroyers. While they cannot go head to head with other nations in gunfights, they can easily sway the outcomes of battles with their diverse ability to deal with many different situations. If you are new to destroyer play, give this line a try. My pick for cruisers is going to go to the American Light Cruiser Line. While the lower tiered Omaha has a bad reputation for poor survivability, once you master how to play these light cruisers as support ships not taking the brunt of enemy fire, they are very good ships. From the Dallas to the Cleveland, they can have a big impact on the game and put up big damage numbers with ease. On to the battleships. My pick would undoubtedly be the British battleship line. Queen Elizabeth comes in as one of the most powerful tier 5 tech tree battleships and the King George V sports great high explosive shells with 10 fast reloading 14 inch guns. These ships have great high explosive and armor piercing capabilities and powerful heals. Finally, my pick for the carriers is hands down the Soviets. Hunting destroyers with skip bombers is extremely fun and very rewarding as it can have a large impact on winning your matches. Overall, there is a lot to consider when choosing which line of ships to grind, but this should give you some idea on how the community feels as a whole. My overall recommendation for new players is to play many different lines up to tiers 5 or 6 before continuing to higher tiers as you learn the mechanics of the game. But you have taken the first steps to understanding the diversity of ships in World of Warships. Dasha approves. 
If you found any of the tips to be helpful, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to tune back in for future training lessons. If you want to continue to grow as a player and have an advantage over the competition, be sure to join the channel and stay up to date on news, ships, and gameplay. But for now, this is Durka signing off. I'll catch you in the next training video. See ya.